the next speaker, uh, which is Varun Shah, who's the co-founder and CEO of Eccentric Engine, a global uh, XR company from uh, India. And uh, he's going to address uh, the question whether extended reality is a fad uh, or a powerful tool uh, for business. So without further ado, Varun, uh, over to you. Okay, lovely. So um, thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity. Uh, and today we are going to discuss a really important uh, topic, such as one of them being uh, who is better, Sachin or Kohli? Do aliens exist? Kya aapke toothpaste pe namak hai? And you know these are topics that need to be discussed because we've all grown up with all these uh, discussions and uh, there is no end to it. So world wants to know. But a slightly less important topic, but an, an interesting one is uh, is XR uh, fad. Uh, expectation that people have with XR is that uh, I'll be in a virtual world, I'll be uh, going to Mars, I will be fighting with the dinosaurs and I will save the world. But the reality is this. I'm sure a lot of you have actually worn some devices, gone on websites, tried some demos. Uh, although, you know, for being sweet to the developer or the person who has made it or the, or the entrepreneur you'll be like oh, this is superb this is very cool this is kick ass but i'm sure most of us walked away from these experiences saying that yaar ye to lodi nahi hua ye to yaar mere ko sir dukhne laga and happens happens to all of us that's because of a cardinal mistake that people have been making and that people think that oh i just need the right device i need the latest phone latest vr headset and I can have a great user experience. What people do not remember is that there is a layer of rendering that happens between the two, which actually facilitates uh, your user experience. Now, without that layer of rendering, uh, you know, everything falls flat. Uh, it's almost like you have a great car without an engine or without a battery and you're trying to drive it. And this is the topic that's not spoken about and unfortunately not understood by a lot of XR founders also. And for this, I will just show you a short video so by the way, one 3D, which is our uh, proprietary uh, rendering engine, uh, is what I'm here to speak about a little bit more. This is a very, very vast topic. Companies from Apple to Google, everyone uh, has a say in this. But today, of course, we'll stick to our worldview, which of course is small, but I think it's significant. I'm going to, I'm going to preview a short video. It actually gives you an entire idea about what streaming is. We'll try to simplify it as much as possible. For a better understanding, let's take a look at how most of the world visualize their products in 3D. Streamed experiences today are plagued by lag, blurry outputs with a low resolution stream and server connection loss. At times, you can't even enter the experience due to server load. All this at an extremely high opex for the OEM and cost to the users. We at Eccentric are trying to create an era of unrestricted democratization of tech. This enables OEMs to serve the experience to unlimited buyers on the internet and also provide a superior product experience at thousands of dealerships across the world to enable quick decision making. At Eccentric, we built the first ever web-based graphics engine for automotive, One3D, that ensures your products look realistic without the need for streaming. As you can see, this runs on your devices at native resolution without any lag. And as a bonus, the engine mitigates issues of heating and high energy consumption using our optimization algorithms. What you just saw is the automotive industry's own real-time 3D engine that fits right into their ecosystem. Even with a spotty connection, your experience remains uninterrupted. One 3D, as the name suggests. So just the video that you saw just has a little bit of uh, background about the tech. And um, in short, uh, regular gaming engines like Unreal Engine Un and Unity, as you may say, have a lot of restrictions in terms of their size. They are great for a PlayStation, but not great when you're accessing it from your phone. So we have made a 3D engine that truly democratizes it. And uh, very happy to say that we've got a lot of love from the automotive industry, which is, we are a vertical specialist company, uh, where we are uh, today uh, serving more experiences in, in uh, 3D and XR than anybody else around the world. Some of the most iconic companies in the world in the automotive space uh, are our customers. Uh, we have our deployments in, uh, you know, in five continents, and we've office our offices in two of them. Let's see exactly what do you know these companies show this for. So imagine I'm uh, in UK and I'm looking to buy a Jeep. Until now, you could only see these images or maybe a 360 turntable. But with us, you can actually rotate the car and you can actually see, see them right in 3D. Let's move to uh, Australia. This is Italian car where you can actually, you know, uh, Alfa Romeo trusts us to visualize their vehicles better than a lot of other European and American companies. Uh, dealers in America 
actually work with us for really interesting use cases. For example, this is their website right now where you can only see picture images. But with us, they are able to actually show in 3D what cars are, are there on that lot or what's there on the inventory. And you can actually see these cars driving down the lot to see exactly what are you going into before you deep dive into the car in 3D. And when you do deep dive into, into the car in 3D, we're actually able to build the car. You're able to play cycles, canopies, whatnot, that just helps dealers upsell and customers buy better. This is uh, an image from a couple, a few days back, our uh, employee in Korea launching a dealership there. So a lot of proof points to say that, yes, uh, there is a meet in the tech. We are the next leap, leap in graphics. Of course, XR is huge, but we are addressing one vertical at a time, automotive being the first. Uh, we call our uh, tech foundational. Think of LLMs in terms of uh, AI. One 3D is exactly enabling a lot of use cases, um, you know, for a lot of OEMs and their partners so that they can actually show better and sell faster. So is XR a fad? Um, well, I, I, I will leave it up to you, you guys to decide, but this is a question I, I have no answer to. Um, and maybe we can have a healthy discussion right after this. So that's us. That's about us. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Varun. I think uh, you have not left uh, any doubt in anybody's mind whether XR is a fad. Clearly, it is not. Uh, if global uh, Fortune 500 organizations are trusting you uh, to develop solutions around this technology, clearly it cannot be a fad. Uh, I think it is just a matter of time when more and more, uh, you know, sort of corporates uh, adopt it. And I'm sure as customers, uh, we are going to perhaps at some point of time start demanding uh, that, hey, I'm not going to be able to give my business to you because you do not have a XR enabled functionality that can let me uh, you know, enhance my buyer experience. So that was an awesome uh, take, uh, Barun. I know it was a very tricky question for somebody who has evangelized XR for so long uh, a time. And, uh, you know, it's almost an uncomfortable question. I was almost expecting to be killed by you when I asked uh, you know, this question. Uh, but sincere thanks for being such a sport and uh, shedding light on this. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Varun. We now